Hello everyone, uh, through this demo, I would like to give an overview of SLD uh, that one needs to configure in SAP PO 7.5 single stack. SLD stands for System Landscape Directory. So when we click on the System Landscape Directory, a page will open up. Initially, it will ask you for the user ID password since I have already entered the user ID password. Uh, it's not asking me again. Okay. Uh, in SLD, one needs to, uh, I'm talking from the SAP PO perspective. Uh, SLD is where you configure the business systems and the, which we use in the configuration and the products and software components which we use in the ESR. So the first thing we have to uh, check is the technical systems. If I click on my technical systems, if you see here, this is my SAP system, which is an ABAP. Because SAP is an ABAP system, it is it is the type is as ABAP, whereas a PO is a 7.5 single stack. So you can see the difference. The type is as Java. So these two are imported by the basis team. I mean. <laughs> I personally uh, don't know how to uh, import this technical systems. Uh, I requested the basis team to import this. After the after basis team has imported this technical system, the next step is to create the business systems for each client. I've already created them. I'll just show you the uh, overview of the business system. Each business system will have the respective client. So in my case, the CD is for the client 100 so for this business system if you if I click on this these are the configurations I've entered for this business systems I have to select the application role as application system and integration server as Java because SAP system communicates with PO 7.5 single stack which is a java stack so here integration will be integration underscore engine underscore java underscore cbd uh, in the older versions this will be the integration server which is the dual stack whereas in the sing uh, in the pure 7.5 single stack this should be the java version and i've i've selected the technical system i've given the client name and the logical system name CAD client 100 this is this is where this is this is configured in the SAP system so I've given this details so this is about the overview of the business systems so the first thing we have to do is to check for the technical system sorry just a minute. First thing is to check for the technical system and once the technical system is there uh, I've taken the help of the basis team to import the systems. I have not personally created this. After we import the technical systems, we create the business systems for this technical system. We, we click on new business system and for each business system you have to give the details as below. It should be application system integration server will be your java will be java for po 7.5 single stack and the respective technical systems and the logical system name okay that is about the business system now creating the product how do i create a product normally when when i click on the products a screen will open up i've already created a project In this product, if you see, uh, I've given the vendor name as so and so dot com, uh, another name, uh, the name as some module name colon integration and the version. And for this product, I've created the software component also. For this software component, I've given these details. Uh, <clears throat> this is my product instance, and this is my name and the software component again. 
po model 1.0 and the namespace would be senviro.com so how do we create the product if you go to the product catalog just click on new here you select the create a new product and version give the name vendor name vendor and the version this should be same as the one i've shown i've shown so because i've already created them i'm not creating so the so name should be something like this vendor name some name whatever name you want to give and the version so this is how we create the product and software component of in sld once we create the product and software component we have to import this into a esr so that's about the uh, these are the only uh, two things creation of the business system and the creation of product and so software components in sld so these are the two things which i define uh, to start my development another point i would like to show is is to define the uh, groups if i go to the business systems okay and in the business systems if i select edit groups all right sorry that is in the quality uh, okay to transport to transport i have to define this i'll just show you Okay, in my call, I need to now the development is done. Now I need to transport my objects from dev to quality. So what I do is I define the groups. How do I define the groups? You go to any of the business system. Now in your quality, all your development systems has to be there. And say for example, from CED 100, I need to transport it to CED CEQ 300. So I define a business system in quality and then I define a group edit groups so these are the two groups which I have defined if I click on dev this is the dev group which I, which contains the details about the development business system and this is the quality group which contains the details about my quality system now if I if I go to business systems you define these two groups by creating a new group you have to define new group and define this dev and queue all right after you define this then you have to in the transport you have to mention like this the source system which is your dev which you can give it here add change or target the group should be dev and for this dev you have to select the integration engine which is your Java stack. So this is how you create the groups in the SLD for transporting. So this is about overview of SLD in PO 7.5 single stack. Hope this video helps you in starting your development in PO 7.5 single stack. Thank you.